Have you read or heard news headlines that say robots may threaten you and your loved ones? Do you wonder if those headlines are true? Stay tuned and we'll discuss how artificially intelligent robots may threaten you and your loved ones and why your fear is actually justified. Well, before we take a look at the proof why you should fear robots with artificial intelligence, let's take a look at why you should believe anything I have to say. I'm going to put a link to my credentials down in the description, but let me give you a thumbnail sketch. I'm a physicist, and I've worked in the field of integrated circuits for over 30 years on some of the United States' most complex weapon systems, missiles, communication satellites. In addition, I've authored four books on science. My third book on artificial intelligence became an Amazon number one bestseller. My fourth book on nanoweapons was the first in its field and it's received outstanding reviews from, for example, the U.S. Army. Well, those are my credentials and you can examine them closer in the link below. Now, let's discuss the proof that says we should fear robots with artificial intelligence. I've discussed this in my book, but let me give you a thumbnail sketch of the experiment that actually got me to be concerned about this very topic. In 2009, at the Laboratory of Intelligence Systems in the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology at Lausanne. Researchers conducted an experiment. Let me tell you about that experiment. They constructed wheeled robots that had a light that they were able to flash. And they programmed these wheeled robots to work together to find food. And food was a light on the floor, a bright light on the floor. And when they found food, the robots were to go to the food, and the longer they, they stayed by the food, the ones who found it and stayed by the food actually got rewarded in the same sense that you get rewarded in, say, computer games. It was a point system. Now, they flashed the light, and other robots then would also come to the area where the food was, and they would get rewarded as well. So far, that sounds straightforward. However, they also programmed the robots to stay away from poison, which was a dark colored light on the floor. And if robots went by the poison, they lost points. So it was imperative that they stayed away from the poison and went to where the food was to gain points. And remember, the overall goal was to have these robots cooperate and work with one another. At first, all went as planned. The robots cooperated, finding food and flashing their lights. Now, some robots were more successful than others at doing that task. So the researchers took the most successful robots and took the, essentially took the programming of those robots and implanted that programming in the other robots essentially letting them learn. Now remember, we're talking about robots in 2009. These were not neural network computer robots. These were not neural network computers. That would be computers that could learn on their own. These robots had to be evolved, actually reprogrammed by the researchers. Now, on about the 50th generation, a strange thing happened. Some of the robots stopped flashing their light. They became deceitful, even though their programming said flash light when you find food. Why did they do that? Because what had happened is when they flashed their light, other robots would quickly join them and actually push them out of the way, and so they would lose points. Then another strange thing happened. 
Some robots began flashing their light when they found poison, misleading the other robots so that they would lose points. By several hundred evolutions, none of the robots were flashing their light. Now, what does this experiment say? Well, to me it said that the robots learned to lie, deceit, and they learned greed. They wanted to win this game. And I think it actually implies self-preservation. And those are primitive robots. Now, if we take Moore's law, we say about every two years, computer power doubles, then that was about nine years ago. We could say that the computers of today would be a hundred times more powerful than those computers. In fact, if they used neural network computers, they would learn on their own. Now, imagine a time when robots become as smart as humans, or even smarter. Will they follow their programming? Well, it doesn't appear so. The Lassonde robots didn't follow their programming. Would it be possible to put any programming in them, such as Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics, that they would follow? And I think the answer is no, based on the Lassonde experiment. In fact, it's not clear they would have any moral code whatsoever beyond their own interests, self-preservation. Well, for me, the Lusanne experiment is proof. Having seen that, I decided that there was a threat posed by artificial intelligence, and I wrote my book. And it was the one of, or the first, to come out and say artificial intelligence could be a threat to humanity. Soon after that, Stephen Hawking came out and said, artificial intelligence could be a threat to humanity. Then Nick Bostrom came out in about a month later with his book that said, artificial intelligence could be a threat to humanity. And now public figures like Elon Musk, for example, and Bill Gates are coming out and saying, artificial intelligence could be a threat to humanity. Now, what happens in the fourth quarter when artificial intelligence becomes super intelligent, more intelligent than all of humanity added together? What happens, especially if we weaponize it? Well, it might decide that it doesn't need humans that were a threat to its existence. Unfortunately, I have to conclude, based on all the evidence, that artificial intelligence does pose a threat to humanity. Okay, guys, now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Click the notification bell to get more videos just like this as soon as they're published. Until we have a chance to talk again, stay savvy and live well.